Hey guys, and welcome back to some more Hypixel Skyblock. Today, we're going to be playing Void Glooms because all of the alpha changes went live, as I mentioned last video, and I also may have been wrong about something, okay? Today, we're going to be testing Void Glooms in 3 fourths Necron and Warden Helmet versus Void Glooms in Final Destination. I did say that Final Destination isn't as cracked as it was on the alpha, but it's still pretty good, and the results might be surprising, or by the way, I'm talking right now, might not be surprising whatsoever, but it's kind of crazy. <laughs> Anyways, let's just jump right into it. So let's make sure we get our Tux chestplate on because we can actually go back to using that now, which is nice thanks to all the damage resistance we get, and uh, see what a boss is like with this. Obviously, the Ender Dragon now actually does outclass the g-drag within the end which is weird considering the g-drag got buffed but the way they changed a load of enchants and made a load of things additive kind of messed with things a little so uh the ender dragon does end up coming out on top unfortunately which means we do have to go in here we do have to go to basic reforging accessory bag and change our epics to strange so we can get our attack speed with the g-drag G-Drag still better because Magic Find. I would rather get faster bosses than Magic Find, and I could also just Rod Swap to the G-Drag for the last little phase at the end to get the G-Drag's Magic Find, so Ender Dragon's definitely worth using. It does like 400k more damage per hit for me, at least. Okay, so in Half Necron, Tux Chestplate, and Warden Helm using our T7 Atom Split, we do roughly like 4 million to the Void Glooms with our E-Drag pet out. We basically have like all the attack speed we need and everything. If I was using one for all, it'd probably probably be about four and a half to five million damage per hit but obviously enchants do more damage over time so that's what we want to be using for the boss and uh speaking of the boss we'll see how this setup does against it because it's still pretty cracked i can't lie a lot faster than it was before this update and definitely a lot easier but how does that fare against final destination you're gonna have to wait and find out even though the way i'm speaking has definitely spoiled far too much i am heartbroken as you can see though this setup is still absolutely cracked i'm just flying through these phases here i'm taking like no damage this is comfortable this is exactly what i was talking about t4s are just so much easier than they were before and require so much less focus and attention which obviously i'm about because i'm, I'm not about cognitive attention especially while streaming i gotta focus on the rat chat and parring all their insults how could i be out here sweating at video game and we should get a just under 60 second boss without a rod swap or anything because i'm a lazy boy but that was pretty chill i wasn't really attacking it in the hits phase or anything because it's not really worth i've never really done that in this armor setup i just don't have enough ferocity and honestly the summons take care of it enough but the difference with final destination is obviously it does give me a nice extra 200 ferocity it gives me a ton of intel so i don't have to worry about using gloom lock it gives me 30 bonus attack speed which means i don't have to reforge for attack speed and i don't even have to put a crochet on my golden dragon pet which means i can use antique remedies which means i get 200 strength from the golden dragon pet basically this setup is kind of insane and i think i've found the uh, the perfect way to optimize it so that it kind of dunks on uh, warden helm and tux and and Necron, unfortunately, and it pains me to say that, but it's how it be, man. So first things first, we want to set this back to the Golden Dragon pet. We want to go in here, and we want to revert the change we made to our epic accessories. So we want to put a Dark Orb back on those. And to optimize our damage even more, I am using Crit Damage Enrichment, and I'm using the Crit Damage from the Beacon Effect as well. But to make sure I get 82 attack speed, because I actually get 50 from the Golden Dragon, and I get 30 from the full set bonus, and 82 is actually the maximum attack speed that you actually need anything beyond that is unnecessary i just went ahead and put four attack speed enrichment on uh, some of my accessories so that gives me the plus two attack speed that i need so i have exactly 82 i have my g drag with a remedies on it so it is just absolutely pumping out damage right now and if we go back over to the void sepulcher and i hit a void gloom you'll see we're doing like about 600k damage less i'm not sure how on earth i just did 3.5 million to those two okay we're not even doing that much less damage i guess but obviously with the 200 ferocity the fact that i can use the g drag with its magic find and everything as well it's kind of crazy and obviously if i up my gold collection even more my strength will just go through the roof and with chimera it's not at all balanced oh and another good thing about this setup is that i have that much intelligence i do not need the gloom lock so instead i put 
my Daedalus Axe in there and I can swap to it so easily at the end of the boss fight because I don't need to rod swap pets thanks to the G-Drag's insane magic find now. And I'm actually getting to use my Chimera 5 Daedalus Axe, which might be my favorite thing about this entire setup. It is beautiful. Plus, it actually gets to use the Gold's Power Park on it, which means it does some damage. Not a lot, but it does some. And paired with all the Ferocity from the full set bonus and from the Katana stacking across, it's uh, kind of cracked. But yeah, you can just see this is about the same speed, if not even faster and so much easier than the other setup. Plus, I can actually go ahead and hit it during the hits phase, which obviously makes that go a lot faster when the server isn't completely crapping its pants. Swap over to the Pigman Sword and just use that to keep me alive. Don't even need the Scylla, baby. But yeah, this is just so comfortable right now, man. Look how much damage all that extra ferocity and the enchants do as well. I barely hit it at the end there, and it did another 25 million damage. And just the leisurely Daedalus Axe swap right now. No effort whatsoever, and Mana Steel. That was a really slow boss because the server was crapping itself, but you get the idea. Look at core price. Don't tell me now I'm finally getting consistent sub-50 bosses that I'm not going to be excited. Oh my god, there's two pages of them. Yeah, we, we, we all saw this coming, to be honest, chat. <laughs> I knew I'd drop the Judgment Call once it finally plummeted in value. I finally dropped the Scythe Blade when it's worth like 5 million coins, when it used to be 100 mil when I started grinding for it. And now the exact same thing is happening with Judgment Call. At least that means I'm going to drop one imminently, right? And to top it all off, $100 from Pink Sapling saying I smell. Today's just not my day, bro. <laughs> Null Spheres are also dead. Nine thousand null spheres for 3.4 mil. <laughs> That's how I feel about that price. Obviously, the straight up damage numbers are a lot less. I mean, not a crazy amount less, especially when I'm sneaking, to be honest, which is ridiculous considering how much cheaper this setup is and how much more it protects you against Void Glooms. But the amount of ferocity and the fact that it means I can use the G-Drag and not have my accessories reforged for attack speed means my damage takes a pretty big leap, even more so if I up my gold collection. And yeah, with the ferocity factored in, the fact that I can go through the hits phases a lot quicker will definitely speed up my bosses a ton more so even if right now i'm doing what like 4.3 mil what the heck okay so even if right now i'm doing those crazy numbers i'm guaranteed at least 200 ferocity regardless of anything else whenever i sneak and i get another 400 when i use a katana think of how much damage i'm basically doing per hit with all of that combined bro that's all i'm saying i think the way i've gone about this setup is perfect to be honest because i've made like no compromises i have a perfect 82 attack speed and i've done it in the way where i minimize my loss on my crit damage as much as possible and this setup is working a treat for me bro i've been getting like consistent 45 second bosses off stream which is beautiful considering you all know how much i sucked at getting the sub 60s beforehand e-man has ferocity resistance not in the hits phase it doesn't which is why i'm saying my bosses are going so much faster because i can hit it during this point as well which i usually just don't even bother with but yeah look at all that ferocity and enchant damage bro no legion or anything by the way i just got it down to 110 million i could not even get close to that before Four. It's so good, man. Sadly, my bosses are pretty slow because obviously refraction is always washed on stream, but that's nothing new. And we get in the Dayak swap, and I got Big PP1 and Ender Snake rune. Didn't quite pull off the Dayak swap, but Barry's coming in clutch with that plus 20% magic find. I can't believe he's actually here and his perks are kind of good. Do you want to buy a 100,000 kill final destination? I'm all good, thank you, man. Buy it, please. Your boy doesn't need the extra resistance. <laughs> Maybe if I was still crap at E-Man, but... Maybe I do need the 100k set. I want to see this with my own eyes. I haven't even seen him yet. This is so weird. He's basically just a Jerry Pug as far as I'm concerned. I like how the admins did the secret bonus thing though. That's a bit of fun and I rate that. And the secret bonuses are sick. 15% increased spell damage, but 15% less mana. Enchanting's cheaper, which will be nice for applying master stars, I guess. And 20 magic find, beautiful. 15% more enchanting and alchemy. Eh. The plus two clicks in super pairs is nice, especially considering they up the odds of getting t7 bucks oh i should actually go do that let me just test my rng on stream because obviously i'm not gonna drop a judgment call so let's see if i can at least get something you're ready for some intense gaming
people. We get two extra clicks as well. So obviously we're getting G7 or P7. Though if I do, you guys got to make me put that on something ridiculous. I can literally get everything on the board. I'm bound to get something cool, right? Oh my God. I'm literally just getting giant killer six and blast protection six and power five. <laughs> Those are my rare drops. That means I'm getting a judgment call this stream. I believe even Barry couldn't get me a T7 buff. Scather prices have died. I'm not surprised, man. They have the odds of getting it by four times. Little do we know, Hypixel's way of reducing inflation was to literally kill the price of absolutely everything. Judgment calls, down. Scather pet down. It just means us rich players get to bag hold even more money because we have nothing to spend it on except pet skins. All right, this is more like it. Sub 50 boss with a day axe swap. Oh, sub 50 without, but I'll take it. 169. Your dayless axe isn't even in your hot bar. Ah, see, we're just going techie with the Reaper size swap. Sometimes I just like to have a bit of a challenge, you know. Void guns are just so easy these days. Refraction has a normal forehead. Stop bullying. Finally, a good opinion in the chat. It's only taken, what, seven years of streaming to get to this point? Actually hearing wholesome donos? Actually just almost killed instantly. Oh, if I can get a phase skip just by myself, that'd be so hot. But yeah, the proof is right here, boys. Final destination is cracked. I could not even get close to that with Tux and Warden Helm. What does the Pigman Sword do? When you use it, it gives you plus 300 defense. So it's essentially a mini version of the Endstone Sword. Especially now that the Endstone Sword only gives you plus 50% resistance. It's actually really nice. Contraband times. All right, so, so far, 1417 base HP. Pretty sweaty skin. I'd give it like a, a 9 out of 10 on the sweaty scale. If I saw that against me in Ranked Sky Wars, I'd play a little more cautiously. So I'm feeling like it's legit so far. Ancient Warden Helmet, good start. That'll be about three coins after this video goes live. So I need to auction that as soon as possible. Yes, yes, some Max Superior, Necron, Tux, Black pretty juicy man pretty juicy thank you mr okaten that is very very generous of you you've single-heartedly restored my faith in the rat chat i go through the infinity stones of jerry pets every single damn stream at this point and i appreciate you man we need to auction the warden helmet we need to auction the warden helmet we need to auction the warden helmet oh my god legion five ones are only 200 mils <laughs> I never sold my Warden Hearts. My back-to-back -back Warden Hearts. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Get them on the auction house. Get everything on the auction house. Abandon ship. Hopefully, they're useful in the nether update. I could be selling them far too early, but this is the nature of Hypixel Skyblock. It is a scary place. To... You think that's a fair price? It's a scary place to be. Warden Heart, Warden Heart, Warden Heart. <laughs> I'm absolutely throwing. I regret discovering this strategy. I'm going to regret posting this video. Oh, what do I do to this game's economy? I'm sorry in advance, all Warden Helmet enjoyers. We can pray that it's useful slash required for the Nether update, at least before it gives you something that's better than the Warden Helmet, which is very likely. But maybe for the first week or two, the Warden Helmet will be elite. Yeah? I'm on Opium so hard right now, bro. What do you recommend for Azim Split? Oh, if there are enchants, if enchants, what enchants should I go for? Enchants, a million percent enchants. Yes, get them. They are less single hit damage, but they do more damage over time. Enchants that you should go for, ideally T7, of course, but they are ridiculously expensive. And I understand if you can't afford them. I'm a Nick. This is a terrible idea, but we're going to go with it anyway. If you can't get T7 enchants, I would absolutely recommend getting T5 with put some T6s. The T6s, I would absolutely recommend. Thunderlord 6 is insane. It's like the only multiplicative enchant left and it does crazy amounts of damage. So absolutely get Thunderlord 6. Ender Slayer 6, of course. That shouldn't be too expensive. To be honest, none of the T6 enchants should be too expensive right now considering they've made them a lot more common from experiments. Giant Killer 6 will also help you out a ton. Uh, if you can get a higher tier of Lifesteal or Siphon, try and get that. Although those tend to be kind of expensive. If you can get it for a good price. Sharpness 6 is also worth it. As for ultimate enchants, I would say get Swarm ideally. If you can't afford Swarm though, just get ultimate wise and you will be living large, my guy. And I almost just killed it instantly again. Just once. I want to see it happen. And you give me that. Oh, I did. 
my Reaper Scythe it again. <laughs> is Swarm better than Soul Eater now? Mm, circumstantially, I suppose. The only reason I say to put Swarm on the Katana, not Soul Eater, is because when you spawn the boss, your Soul Eater will proc once, and you will most likely have the soul of a regular Voidling Fanatic, which will be pretty underwhelming. Swarm will just apply on every single boss hit because it gives you more damage depending on how many mobs are around you, and obviously since there's a load of Voidling Fanatics around you, you'll get a bit of extra damage off of Swarm. It's not going to be crazy, but it's the best ultimate enchant outside of Chimera, I would say, for Void Glooms. You bought Thunderlord six prices from 70k to 700k in the auction house. Good job, Refraction. Bro, Thunderlord sixes are literally so easy to get. You don't even have to buy them. You just go into dungeons, do a few frag runs, and still you get Stormy mobs, and literally every single one of them will drop a Thunderlord six buck. Anyone that knows how to do that will now make absolute racks off of it and stabilize the price again. You'll be fine, I'm sure. Thunderlord six is literally infinite in quantity. That's why I'm recommending it because it's basically free. Where are the boys? Oh, they got despawned by the dragon. Oh my God. Oh, well, final destination. So OP. We don't need them. Hey, the one benefit of being unnicked without even asking. What a king. And didn't even break a sweat. And I get twilight arrow poison. Sick. I don't know why I decided to be so brave and firm that I wanted the fast boss time. We got it, boys. We ignore the death. Oh, I, I'm, I'm, a, never mind. We're, we're leaving this lobby immediately. Do T4 with no armor? That's literally impossible at this point, man. At one point, it may have been possible if the boss didn't despawn first, but that is literally impossible now that Endstone Sword doesn't give you 100% damage resistance. I don't even think you could do it in Three Force Tux anymore. Oh, that's unfortunate. I never got to complete that challenge. I actually don't think that would be possible anymore with the endstone sword nerf all right turbinator it's your time to step up you in the ring boy oh this guy's still here you love to see all right that skin is hella adorable how can a face like that betray me it's actually happening oh thank you turbinator love you brother so i'm bought by warded heart you are a maniac but i appreciate you thank you man now i guess it's time to auction the other one if these jump up after the nether update i'm gonna hate myself but i've held on to these for far too long Ooh, 220 percent magic fine yes barry all right, 46.4. We're getting there. We're getting to the off-stream times. Before this update, you would have never seen that in a million years unless I was getting carried. This is crazy. No oh, wonder Judgment Core prices are dead. I actually had hope for getting a Judgment Core this stream. Maybe I should whack the clown makeup back on. I'm thinking, you know what? For once, I'm not dying to like every other boss I spawn. I'm getting them consistently quickly. I'm getting crazy amounts of magic frying from the G-Jag buff and from actually being able to swap to my Daedalus Axe. It's going to happen this stream right i also did like an hour's worth of void glooms before i even started streaming to get some of that rng out of my system you know nothing but it's okay because these last few bosses are gonna come in clutch and drop me an enchant rune right finally man of steel 169 percent magic find we've come full circle it was nice at the start of the stream and now at the end of the stream it just mocks me thank you all so very much for watching if you enjoyed please be sure to leave a like and consider subscribing and i will see you all soon